Welcome to Exciting Machines as we come now with a special report. China is making waves in the world of aviation with the unveiling of the Shenyang J-35A, a land-based stealth fighter that has long been cloaked in secrecy. This aircraft has been in development for some time, but until now, we had only seen blurry and unofficial images that left much to the imagination. Now, as we prepare for its debut at the highly anticipated Air Show China on November 12th in Zhuhai, we finally have a clearer look at this formidable jet. The J-35A is intriguing not just for its design but also for the questions surrounding its future. Initially thought to be aimed primarily at export markets, its role within the People's Liberation Army Air Force, or PLADAF, is still being clarified. This adds an element of mystery to an already interesting aircraft, as we seek to understand how it fits into China's military aviation strategy. In the first official photo released, the J-35A is shown taxiing, revealing key design features. Comparing it to earlier prototypes, such as the previous J-35 and FC-31 models, as well as some of its rivals in the fifth generation of fighter aircraft, we can see distinct differences and similarities that provide insight into its capabilities. One prevalent discussion around the J-35A revolves around its comparisons to the US F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. While some critics assert that China has merely copied this American counterpart, it's essential to unpack this narrative. Although China has indeed gained sensitive data on multiple military programs, arguing that the J-35A is a direct reproduction of the F-35 oversimplifies the situation. The truth is, while the J-35A emulates certain elements from the F-35, it is far from a simple imitation. For instance, one major distinction is that the J-35A features twin engines, unlike the F-35's single turbofan engine. Additionally, there is no requirement for a short takeoff and vertical landing or stovel variant in the Chinese design. This absence leads to a sleeker silhouette for the J-35A, enhancing its aesthetic appeal. However, this design choice raises questions about fuel capacity and the range of the aircraft, which could impact its operational effectiveness. However, let's remember that similarity in appearance doesn't equate to similar performance capabilities. When it comes to the core technologies, such as avionics, data fusion, sensor technologies, and stealth capabilities, the differences could be significant. Engine technology, in particular, could play a vital role in determining the overall effectiveness of the J-35A compared to its Western counterparts. Recent images of the J-35A offer fans and experts a glimpse of what lies beneath its surface. One notable feature is its electro-optical targeting system, which bears an uncanny resemblance to the EOTS found on the F-35. Also, a wide-angle head-up display in the cockpit showcases the advances in pilot interface technology. Below the fuselage, there appears to be a radar-reflective Lundberg lens that could manipulate the stealth characteristics of the jet when needed. The PLA has officially confirmed the naming convention for this aircraft, categorizing the land-based version as the J-35A, while the carrier-based variant retains the J-35 designation. Before this, the prototypes were known as the FC-31, hinting at a potential focus on export markets. There's a likelihood that this aircraft could supplement the PLA-LAF, serving as a more cost-effective counterpart to the advanced Chengdu J-20. With a wealth of speculation and excitement surrounding the J-35A, it's evident that this stealth fighter is much more than just another military aircraft. As we anticipate its performance in the coming air show, military enthusiasts and analysts alike will be watching closely to see what the future holds for this remarkable addition to China's air power arsenal. The FC-31, also known as J-31, has undergone significant transformations since its first prototype took to the skies in October 2012. This aircraft made a striking public appearance at Airshow China in Zhuhai back in 2014, grabbing the attention of military aviation fans worldwide. Fast forward to 2016, and we saw a thoroughly reworked version of the FC-31. At that time, discussions and analyses highlighted its advancements and refinements. However, interest in a land-based variant seemed to dwindle, 
leading to a major reworking of the design for carrier operations, which later evolved into the J-35. Recently, progress has picked up once again. Towards the end of last year, a new land-based version for domestic use surfaced in discussions. Accompanying this resurgence were clearer images of the prototype that showcased distinct features, setting it apart from its carrier-based counterpart, the J-35. Notably, around September 26, 2023, this prototype took flight. When comparing the prototype to its naval counterpart, differences became evident. The land-based variant appeared to have a smaller overall wing surface area, similar in design to the F-35A, unlike the larger wing seen on the carrier-ready F-35C. These design choices reflect the specific operational requirements intended for each variant. Further distinguishing this prototype was its landing gear, which featured a single nose wheel instead of the dual wheels used on the naval version. Enhanced details from photos of the J-35A revealed additional modifications, such as the absence of the catapult launch bar, further emphasizing its intended use as a land-based fighter. In a noteworthy development, Pakistan had previously indicated interest in acquiring a land-based version of the jet. Recent images of the J-35A confirmed that the People's Liberation Army Air Force, or PLAAF, is also keen on adding this fighter to its fleet. This marks a significant milestone as nations recognize the potential advantages offered by the J-35A. However, there are still many unanswered questions surrounding the PLAAF's plans for the J-35A. The aircraft's recent reveal showcases Air Force insignia prominently on the nose, adorned with a stylish gray color scheme. Additionally, commemorative markings celebrating the service's 75th anniversary were visible on the tail fins. Interestingly, the tail designs differ from those on the naval variant, being larger and distinct. It remains unclear whether this iteration is a brand new prototype or a reconfigured version of a previously seen aircraft. Speculations abound that it could be the same craft that emerged in late 2022, now modified to align with PLADLAF specifications. Turning attention back to the PLA Navy's J-35, it's evident that this fighter is geared towards supporting China's expanding aircraft carrier operations. Optimized for the latest carrier, the Fujian, with its state-of-the-art electromagnetic catapult launch system, the J-35 is expected to play a vital role in naval operations. Additionally, developments suggest that the J-35 might soon operate aboard older carriers like Liaoning and Shenyang which employ ski-jump takeoff methods. As the PLAAF continues to advance its capabilities, the introduction of the J-20 has been a focal point. However, the potential integration of the smaller J-35A could offer a strategic advantage. The modernization efforts led by the J-20 and supported by the versatile Shenyang J-16 and Chengdu J-10 highlight China's commitment to enhancing its aerial combat systems. With the J-10 nearing the end of its development potential and showing signs of age, the J-35A emerges as an ideal candidate to fill the medium-weight segment of China's fighter fleet. Moreover, the J-35A is expected to be more cost-effective than the J-20, allowing for greater procurement and enhanced overall combat capability. In conclusion, the J-35A represents a vital step in China's military aviation development. With its unique design and strategic advantages, it is becoming an essential component of both the PLADAF and the PLA Navy's operational landscape, ensuring that China maintains a formidable presence in modern aerial warfare. As we observe its continuous evolution, it's clear that the J-35A will play a central role in shaping the future of Chinese air power. With industrial incentives driving the procurement of the J-35A for the People's Liberation Army Air Force, the implications extend beyond just military needs. This strategic move ensures Shenyang remains engaged in fighter construction while potentially attracting export orders. The successes of South Korea's KF-21 and Turkey's TF Khan showcase a growing market for medium-weight stealth fighters emphasizing the importance of the J-35A's unique position exempt from the stringent export restrictions faced by Western design counterparts. The export potential has long been a pivotal focus of the J-35 program. If offered at an appealing price, it could carve out a significant space for China in the higher-end fighter marketplace. 
a potential order from Pakistan could offset development expenses and further reduce production costs. Moreover, a large-scale adoption by the PLADLAF might drive prices down even more, making the J-35A an enticing option for other nations. Looking ahead, many questions about the J-35A remain, and answers may soon emerge at Airshow China. The recent official unveiling of the aircraft, alongside confirmed interest from the PLADLF, showcases the rapid development within China's military aviation sector. As we stand on the brink of a new era in aerial combat, the J-35A is poised to be a cornerstone in China's quest for technological supremacy and fighter capabilities. Subscribe to stay tuned as we follow this fascinating journey in military aviation, exploring the dynamic advancements that define the landscape of modern air power.